<sighs> Good sleep. Everything's right back the way it was. All that commotion seems like a dream. Hmm? Could it be? All that... All that was my nightmare? Nah. Totally real. Whew. But the school's closed for a while. Hmm. Guess I'll go outside. Yosafire's Diary. A ton of stuff happened. It's like way too much stuff. I can't even keep track. Everyone got really hurt, but also got better right away. What are you guys? But I'm worried how old man K is the only one who hasn't fully recovered. <laughs> That's the end of the diary entry. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give this game one more chance to let me drink this coffee. Coffee with lots of milk and sugar. <clears throat> Ooh, guys! Morning! Morning. Good morning. Hey, ooh, morning. Kinda feels like we were dreaming, huh? You mean what happened the other day? Yeah. What even were those flame demon guys? True. It feels so unreal to me, too. And the village is entirely back to normal. <laughs> and Robert is sleeping. Plus, Eddie's safe and sound, and fixed up the village. But to think she got that locked away, uh, she got locked away in all that. It was quite eventful. Too eventful. I was worrying how it would all, how it would all, bleh. Let me try that again. I was worrying how it would all turn out. <laughs> Dreaming about octopuses, or octopi, sorry. But is old man K okay? His injuries were very bad, though Eddie should be able to heal him. He said he'd heal on his own, didn't he? Sheesh, what's that old man thinking? He's got nothing to be stubborn about. And there must be some reason. <laughs> Sun raisins? <laughs> I didn't say that. Maybe I should check on him. I'm worried. Okay, let's go check on Old Man K. Gonna make the trek up to the castle probably one last time. Oh, Wotus. Or, sorry, not Wotus. Grora, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Nice stuff. <laughs> well, I'm a whole separate case from the Head Angel. Gora, don't you and Wotus look kind of really similar? Yes, they do, because I just mistook her. Mistook her. Mis... Oh god, how do I say that? Mistook her. Yeah, mistook her for Wotus. No, I was right the first time. Apparently I've lost the ability to speak. Let me take a drink of water and hope that fixes it. There we go. No, we don't. Sorry. <laughs> you totally do. Get out of my way, you stupid bees. Yeah, there might have been a transport uh, plate stone thingy that would teleport me to the castle. I'm not sure. Oh, hello. Hello. Ah, good day. Good day. You two seem a little out of it. Oh, can you tell? Uh, Lord K got us uh, got very angry with us. Hmm. Don't act on your own, etc. Be a little more serious, etc. He was real shouty. Oh, so he's healthy enough to shout. Did we do something wrong? I wonder. I wonder. We did come to save him at the end.
Wotus, your injury is okay? Yes, I've mostly healed. Thank goodness. Hey, where's Kay and, and Eddie? They went to the garden beside the castle. Oh, thanks. You take care. Yes, thank you. It's locked. Wasn't this door the door to the garden? I guess not if it's locked. Okay, um, I think... Oh yeah, I think I know where it is. <laughs> it's actually all the way back down. Okay, I don't know where it is. This is a garden. Okay, is it the one all the way... Like, all the way outside? I guess it is. I mean, there's a pathway. Over here that goes to the side. I don't remember if it has a garden. Like, over here? Watch, I'm gonna spend like two minutes walking on this path and there's gonna be nobody there. Ooh. No, I think... Okay, this has gotta be it. You okay? Yeah. Don't overdo it. Hey, you know I could heal. No. I can manage this much this much myself. Jeez, so stubborn. My bad. Bad kid. <laughs> but I'm glad you're safe. Oh, what? You were that worried? Ho ho ho! You little... It's fine. I'm not gonna die or go away that easily. Oh, really? Because I'm God? Duh. Oh, really? Besides... I was worried, you know? Wondering what I'd do if something happened to you, okay? Something not only happened, I nearly died. Yeah, well... Yeah. But it's just... Hmm? I... Only destroy. It's fine. I'll fix it. Right. And it's fine now. I've greatly streng strengthened our defenses. No more weirdos coming in. I see. A little late with that. Uh-huh. If you had just done your job in the first place... Uh-huh. Things wouldn't have been nearly... Uh-huh. Hey, see? Don't get mad. It's not helping your wounds. Like when you shouted at Aider and Arbus, remember? Those two are just too hopeless. <laughs> just thinking about them. Hey now. Well. How about I do something to soothe you? Oh? Hey. Hey. 
You can stop hiding. Come on out. Hmm? Ah, you found me out. Naturally. I thought it would be rude to interrupt. Eh? Who do you think I am? God, what else? So you were the one loitering, loitering around. You got me. If you were there, some assistance would have been, oh, appreciated. Oh, but I helped plenty behind the scenes. And after that airhead ran, I gave chase and sorted him out. Ah, this is my first time talking to you in person. Just the voice last time. Then allow me to properly introduce myself. My name is Refical. I am the devil of another world. Ah, oh, I see. Makes sense. This world, well, I found it on a stroll, in a sense. Kay and I are longtime acquaintances. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you're an understanding one. I suppose. While I was here, I was in contact with yet another world's devil. How did that airhead come to know of this world? That, wait. I, I'm trying to parse that sentence. That's was what checking on? What? I don't know what that... Oh, crap, I didn't mean to skip it. Anyway, I don't know what that sentence said. It didn't make any sense to me. I see. Well, if you find the culprit, I'll tear him limb from limb. At any rate, it's very probable a certain demon is to blame. Wow, it's like a detective novel. <laughs> but once we knew, nothing could be done. Yeah, I'll back off too. A good attitude to have. It's a true rarity of a world. I feel it should be treated with the utmost care. Of course. That's all I wish to say, really. Now, I should return, or heads will roll. Sorry about everything. It's nothing. We all need help in our times of trouble. So, regards for you-know-what. Right. Should it be in the cards, may we meet again. Hmm? You know... Well, I can't properly parse this sentence either. I wonder what she means by that. You know, you know what, or you know what? Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Some devil is planning a dinner party gathering of devils, it seems. Ah. Long ago, I promised I'd go if I owed a favor. Will you be okay? Maybe. I don't want to go. You're outrageously shy. Don't want to go. There, there. There, there. Now, back to what I was about to do. Come here. Hold on. They <laughs> keep getting interrupted. <laughs> oh, old man, are you in... Terribly sorry. <laughs> Wait up. No, you've got it wrong. <laughs> ho ho. Yikes, didn't think I'd run into an a 
run into an adult moment in the middle of the day. Whew, guess he's okay, though. Back to the village. Just looking really quick to see if the transport stone's in here. I don't believe it is. No, it's not here anymore. Okay. I'm not even sure if it was inside the castle. It might have been right out front. I can't remember. That's the same thing I said before, right? Yeah, okay. Just checking. How's everybody doing? Oh, the gang's all here. What's it? Ah, welcome back. You're just in time. Hmm? I figured I'd treat everyone to some apple pie again. <laughs> we're right back where we started. We were just about to go get the apples. And some caterpillars while we're at it. Of course. No, we're not. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Hmm? Where's Froze? She said earlier she'd go to the flower garden. Huh? She said uh, she'd be right back, but bring her, would you? Roger, roger. Okay, I think it's to my left, right? Yes. <laughs> the soul is still here. Sounds like someone started up an extremely loud lawnmower outside. That's wonderful. Apologies for that. It's okay. Just think of it as the bass line for the song. A low rumbling bass line. Ah, Yosef. Dilo and Chelliner are making apple pie, so... We're gonna go get apples together. Oh, huh, I see. Hmm, what's up? Hmm? It's really rare for you to come to the garden alone, Froze. It's not like I can't, from time to time. Yosefar? Hmm? Uh, I think now I can say that...
I'm, I'm very grateful to you. You've helped me with a lot. No way, what are you saying? I'm always bothering you, Froze. No, you aren't. Um, well. I may, uh... As you know, be rather rude and quick to anger. But even so, you're always very friendly to me. So, um... Thank you. No, thank you. I'm, I'm really grateful to you too, Froze. And thanks to you, I can fly now. That was thanks to me. Yeah, it was. Hey, Froze. Froze, you're always cute, but, you know, you'd be even cuter if you smiled. <laughs> so come on, smile. Eh? Eh? <laughs> there we go. No, I, I can't. It's too embarrassing. What? Sorry. It's okay. Huh? Take it a uh, day at a time. Keep smiling. And soon it won't be embarrassing anymore. So, you and I, every day, we'll smile. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go. Right. Uh, wait. Is she gonna fall in the hole? Um... She's like walking. Okay, good. <laughs> what happened to Macarona? Did she faint because of the caterpillars? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this music's awesome. I wonder where it came from or who made it. Oh, let me get a good stretch. <sighs> that was an extremely long game. My god. And that's the most immediate thing that surprises me. Because I just... You know, I just saw this game that I thought was just a small little free game, and it ended up being like, what, 10 freaking hours? My god. It's... it feels epic. I, I just realized, is Chellen floating? It looks like she's floating. I mean, I guess she does have wings. So yeah, I expected that to only be a couple hours and it ended up being like 10. I am blown away at the length. Really, 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 really surprised. I didn't know what I was getting into. I'm just staring at the picture. 
wondering what's going to happen next. Oh, is that all the, uh, all the sprites? Well, no, that's not all of them. That's some of them. The end. A scene after the credits. Hmm? Did something just fall in the garden? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Is that the hint that there's going to be another... another game? And what is this bonus? Well, what the heck? Am I using the arrow keys to control the mouse? Yeah, I can't actually use my mouse. Whoa, that is weird. Okay, what... What's in the bonus? What in the heck is this? Oh! A passing demon. Or not, she's another world's devil. All else is unknown. Okay, apparently he likes karaoke. And me. Wait a minute, this demon hates scary people? What? And apparently he thinks about me once every three days. Hmm, I didn't know his thoughts were on like a, a plan, like a, a regimen. <laughs> F, I really want to go to karaoke. Okay. Hmm, Pomi, she likes playing with toys. And hates the sea. Okay. <laughs> if this is Demon Underling, got turned into a lamp genie. And apparently she hates dust. Ivlis hates slimy things. Well, I guess he hates himself then. Graf, Graf, however you pronounce her name. That's cool, teacher. <laughs> Fools must be punished for forgetting their homework. Lowry. Likes reading and singing. And talking. And hates cows. Ooh, what? what kind of a person hates cows? They're kind of adorable. They're lovably stupid. <laughs> His personality is actually a little, uh... Rasbull. Rasbull preserves. <laughs> Likes cleaning. Or at least that's her hobby. You'd think hobby would be the same thing as likes, wouldn't you? A graceful demon. Robbery's big sister. Shares the same bad eating habits. Arpus. Likes Lord K's lap. And strolling. And hates water. Of course, she's a cat. And same thing, of course. Oh, there's me. Likes playing with flowers, looking at stars, and froze. Still fears hay fever. <laughs> Definitely don't want hay fever. Likes reading, and me. Oh my god. That, uh... Lawnmower outside is really loud. Exceptionally loud now. Anyway. Loves ice cream. I love frozen yogurt. A timid angel. Actually very powerful. Grip strength 500. Whatever that means. <laughs> likes raw berry because, uh... Also apparently likes blushies. Raw berry preserves. Who likes macaroni? Gluttonous demon. 
fed up with the land stuff, so she's after seafood next. I'm hungry, of course she is. Likes making apple pies and jellin. Hates rain. Apparently nobody can imitate her method of making apple pie. Quiet girl with a very pretty voice. I think that's all she does, right? Sing? She's never spoken a word. Likes watching the full moon, and Eddie hates spicy things. Very unsociable. Outrageously shy. Used to be scarier, apparently. <laughs> and of course, the only thing he says is dot 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 dot. God of the Grey Garden. A casual slacker. Also used to be scarier, apparently. Wotus likes cooking and gardening. Also likes Ochizuki or whatever. Yeah, it's probably how you pronounce it. I don't know what that is. Always spaces out. And Grora. Likes to tease Wotus. <laughs> Where's my eye? Where? I don't know, but something tells me if it's been like years since you lost it, you're probably not going to get it back. And if you did, you probably wouldn't be able to use it anymore. I don't know, weirder things have happened. A pile of cards. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's all those like... I don't even know what you call those screens. Tasty coffee. You... More coffee I can't drink, are you serious? Ugh. <sighs> Oh, it's all the art, isn't it? Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> Let's go for this one. <laughs> yeah, there's some really good art in this game. Good day, and welcome to the bonus room. Congrats on beating the game. Bonus room has character bios, bonus scenes, art, well, a bunch of stuff. If you leave now, the game will begin again. Okay. <laughs> More coffee that I can't drink. A radio, but it lacks a radio wave. Okay. Oh, what's this? Wait a minute, we... This never happened, right? This is something totally new? The sea's so big and full of shijimi, whatever that is. Is that a type of fish or something? Froze, let's go swim. No. Why? General hap... Wait, has this happened? I'm not sure. Rawberry, please don't destroy my sandcastle, okay? I wanna. Don't. Man, I was ready, though. Huh? <laughs> hurry yacht? What? I don't know what that is. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> no, this did not happen before. I would have remembered this. How did she... Ta-da! Swimsuit! Apparently that's one of her powers. Eh? Eh? F froze. Nothing to say? The, uh, there's a seagull over there. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Swimsuit, the swimsuit. Swimsuit? Isn't Yosef. You look so cute. Is something like that? Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> Jeez, well fine. I'm swimming by myself. Froze, you mugwort dumpling. Mugwort dumpling? Hey, froze. What? By the way, uh... I can't swim. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and now she needs help, of course. Oh, she's gonna drown. Idiot! 
Robberry, I told you not to destroy it. Kaboom, curse smash. Nah. Well, there's even one with question marks. I'm kind of scared about that one. <laughs> okay, well, I'm good for now. Oh, I can't even save the game. It's okay, though. I think, uh, I think the receptionist said I can come back anytime I want. this? I don't even know what that says. Wadad Nahara and the Great Blue Sea. Huh? What was that? Is that like... Uh, is that another game? Is that gonna be the next game? Or... Oh, that's the release date. 12 27 2012. That was over a year ago, actually. I didn't realize this had been out for so long. Yeah, so I guess I'll just wrap up the game. Again, I'm incredibly surprised about how long it was. I mean, I found it through. What was it? I think it was freeindiegames.com. Or something like that. It's just a site that lists, uh, you know, free games you can play. And most of them are really short, as you'd expect. So again, I was expecting, like, a, an afternoon. Uh, finishing it in an afternoon. You know, maybe a couple hours. I wasn't expecting something like a 10-hour game. This must have been in development for quite a while. To make something so long. So, I'm really impressed. To see something of this scale released for free is pretty rare. So yeah, just to get my thoughts on it, um, I really... Overall, I just really enjoyed it. There's definitely some things about it I didn't quite like. I mean, the, the appeal of it, to me, is just that it's a really fun and cutesy sort of world to come back to. Where, I mean, even though it does get kind of dark, especially towards the end, and there's some blood and there's some violence, but for the most part, it's just a really... It just feels good to come back to it. Like, it's a fun, silly thing that you can kind of... Um, that I can just play and not take it too seriously and just have fun with it. Which is nice to do once in a while, because I play a lot of serious games, and I play a lot of games that really take a lot of mental energy, you know? Either through uh, solving puzzles or just... They just involve subject matter that's like really serious. So it takes a lot out of me to play that sort of a game. And in this game, it doesn't. You know, it's easy to get into. It's easy to play. It's not really challenging for the most part. There's very little challenge whatsoever. Even in the fights, it's not really challenging. That's not really what it's about. And it's just fun. It's just fun to come back to it. I, yeah, I had a really good time playing through it. I am surprised at some of the things that they did, though. Like the uh, the amount of sudden deaths that you have. I think there's there's at least two. Was there more? It might just be two sudden death situations. The first one was when I was running from the bats, when I was in the, the underworld dimension. And if you take a wrong turn, you die. That was the first one, and that one undid like 40 minutes of progress or something like that. Which was exceedingly unpleasant. And it's really bizarre that that sort of a thing would be in a game that's so lighthearted and kind of carefree. So that's really strange. 
and it felt like there was way too much walking on massive... M walking through massive mazes. I feel like at least a couple hours could have been lopped off if you didn't have to run through mazes and stuff like that. But other than that, I just really enjoyed it. You know, I, I don't really think of it as like... Um... Well, I mean, it's made in the RPG Maker engine. And it obviously has RPG stuff. You know, you have levels, you have abilities, you have equipment, and stuff like that. And you have the encounter screen. But again, the encounters aren't really the point. It's really about the story and the characters. It's honestly... I think it's basically like a visual... It's like a visual novel, really. It just kind of happens to be told through an RPG framework. But the RPG elements are kind of watered down to the point where they're not really too relevant. So to me, it's more like a visual novel, really. That's how it felt to me, anyway. And I don't remember where I was going with that. Where was I going with that? I'm not sure. But yes, I basically just saw it as a visual novel. Just a, you know, a linear story that you play through, because that's what it is. And it was really enjoyable. I had a good time. I felt like there was a bit of filler. And quite a bit of filler, actually, with running through mazes and things like that, and the sudden deaths were unwelcome in an otherwise lighthearted game, and totally unnecessary. But I had a good time. You know, it's fun to spend time with these characters. All with their own very unique personalities. The Cat People. Rawberry, who likes to eat everything, including disgusting bugs. Chellen, who doesn't even talk. Dilo, who's great at baking pie. Apple pie, to be specific. You know, every character is just unique and colorful and fun. Okay. Welp, I guess I'll end it here. It feels kind of sad to stop, because I've been playing it for so long. I mean, 10 hours is not an exceptionally long game by any means. But I've been playing it over a period of, what, one to two months? You know, I've been in this world for quite a while. And it feels sad to leave it. But, alas, I have to. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of The Grey Garden. Thank you for watching.